everybody. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of this. Um, human failures, man-made failures. Um, we've created these problems, so we can fix them. We can solve these problems, just as we can fix poverty, famine, disease, and war. I believe we can. And I want to have a lot more fun like we do in Rio de Janeiro at Carnival. I want us to reach for the stars, but for a lot more endeavors than we do now. I want us to find cures for disease faster. Um, I want us to eradicate disease. I think we can do that a lot sooner. But it's taken a long time to do these things, a lot longer than I believe it should take us uh, with the gifted talent that's out around the world. Um, and I've wondered about this for a long, long time, and then it finally hit me that I really believe 95% of the world's population is in the wrong role. Seriously. And I don't know how many of you, I would argue about 95% of you, but I think this is our biggest problem. This is why we can't solve those problems. This is why we don't have enough success in our own jobs, why we don't have enough success in our communities and around the world solving these problems. If we're not getting the best out of us, our best talents, the best out of our minds, the best energy that we have to give, how can we solve these problems? Some people believe it's about passion that we need more passion in the workplace. And probably a lot of you people here, and that's what, what Ignite is all about. But some may argue that passion may not be enough, or is it the right thing to focus on? Some people believe that we need to spend more time on our mind working on ideas and creativity, because if we just focus on passion, we may not solve these problems. If we're focused on just the heart and not getting the best out of our minds. But what if we could get the best of both? What if we could get the best out of our minds and finally tap into the capacity of our minds, the full potential of our minds? I think we can if we focus on the deepest curiosities of our mind and it will ignite our mind. And I found that our greatest natural fascination can do that. It's the one trait that can really light up our mind and our heart. And that's what we need to focus on if we really want to change the world. And, and I believe we can change the world if we do that. But we have to focus on those burning questions, our own burning questions. We need to chase those down. Those things that just, like with a laser focus we wanna, that we want to work on, and the heart will follow it, I guarantee you. So we need to change how we focus on it. Um, but a lot of us, you know, don't know how to do that. We don't know how to find our GNF. So what I want to do is kind of walk you through how to do that. It's going to be quick. In uh, two easy steps, I'll try and do it. It's taken me a lifetime, by the way. Um, but we're all here, I believe, to answer our own burning questions. And your mind will take your, yourself down particular bunny trails for very profound reasons. And it's that pursuit is where we're going to find the great discoveries, both for ourselves personally and professionally. So that's what we need to focus on. But we need to set it on fire, that's step number two, by aligning our top natural talent and our personality preferences, who we are, with why we're here. And here's an example of Einstein, who leveraged his gifted mathematical talent with who he was. He was an introvert, but he's very analytical and skeptical. But he put that in pursuit of space and time, and he never would have achieved that without. So that's how you take the power of fascination and turn it into life-changing, world-changing uh, world fascination on fire. And this is what I've been working on for years, and really trying to crack this code uh, for a long, long time. But I'm actually here not to talk about myself. I want you to find, focus on, and fire up what fascinates you. And that's what I think Ignite really should be about, is helping people figure that out. So I want you to go out there. There's a lot of people here that are really fascinated by a lot of things. But we need to put our passion in perspective and set our fascination on fire, I believe, so we can leave our mark on the world, so we can change the world. I think this is how we do it. And I think this is where we make significant change. I think this is how we change the game and eradicate poverty and famine, disease and war. But we first have to figure out where our mind naturally wants to go. Where does it want to wander? What captivates our mind's own attention? When we do that, we can make serious change. This is how we do it. This is how we get everyone happy, educated, filled up. This is how we find fulfillment lasting happiness, and I believe we can all do that by setting your fascination on fire. So go ahead and ignite Phoenix in your world and the world around us.
Thank you.